Hello YouTube, how's it going? Um, last part we were talking about how to create our login UI in Unity and uh, in this part we want to uh, write a web service for our application, our Unity application by PHP. So um, I wish you could really get uh, how to create a UI and uh, make it responsive uh, in our uh, mobile screen or the other screens. Okay, for writing our PHP script, uh, we need something. We need a host. I have to write them using Notepad. Plus plus. Okay. We we have to use something. Number one is our host. So we need a host for testing our script and PHP and uh, MySQL for our database. So uh, we need an application that provide us three of them in one application. So we can use VAMP server or ZAMP in Windows or if you use the other OS you can uh, download for uh, Linux LAMP and also ZAMP2. So uh, for downloading VAMP we search VAMP and uh, you can download it free in its own website. So here is a download link should be compatible with your OS 32 uh, bits or 64 bits and after you download it uh, click on this it's open I exit it you click on and the services are preparing you see three services uh, Apache PHP and MySQL so we can uh, we uh, we want to create our database and then uh, writing our script. So in our browser, uh, it's Firefox or I don't know, Opera, the other things. You have to write localhost and click enter. You'll see this uh, page, which is VAMP server. It's uh, default web page and uh, you have to click on PHP my admin it's the web page a UI of our my skill services so let's go and uh, we want to create a database click on new and the database name um, should be for example r for example db1 and collation is related to our language that we want to insert into our database because I want to that's not really important for us right now so I mean we don't want to use it if you're if you're using Persian text and Persian strings you have to use UTF-8 uh, Persian here is okay uh, our database is uh, created right now and uh, tables we can make tables a table we want is login table login table and um, we want to have uh, ID username password and all of this it the number of columns is three so say go ID 
ID type is integer and auto increment for primary key. So our primary key is ID. Primary key is a um, column that is uh, just one and it's unique in our table. So we want to have username the camel case Pascal case username and password Username and password uh, type of wire care 50 is the length of our values and um, here we go we have to uh, use storage engine to ano db and because we want to have a uh, foreign key or the other things we, we don't want to uh, use the other things so we say press on save here is uh, created our uh, tables our table login excuse me our table login is now prepared for us the columns id username and password so we want to add some uh, default values in our table so we go to uh, skill and uh, clear right here and click on insert okay it says insert into login id username and password and values are here so we did id and uh, and enter values some default values for first one i enter all values and uh, let's go and edit click on editing line and click on go and the last okay now we can see we got three records in our table and there is we got three users so right now we want to write our php and check we got this username in our table or not so we click on um, visual studio code because we want to use this ID for writing our script and uh, new file so for before we write we have to save this as a PHP and let it understand that we want to write PHP script new folder login part 2 and uh, align the PHP and save it. Okay. For writing PHP, we have to write this one, and uh, in this area, we can write our PHP and compile it. So we want to first. We want to uh, connect to our database so um, we want to get uh, first uh, connect to our database and uh, then uh, get username and password from our application and uh, check it if it's true or not so 
first we want to connect we write double username and it's username on database which is root is a default username and dollar password is empty I don't got password our host host name is a uh, local host and uh, our database name is db1 I think yes that was sorry db1 right semicolon okay uh, we want to connect to our database so write dollar con it's our connection and write my skill I connect it prepare a connection to our database my skill connect first have to write our host name so dollar host name is the first argument the second argument is our username username uh, third one is dollar was password dollar password and the last one is db name we can add a port that a port we want to use in this mysql connect so okay we want to check if it is if it's necessary that we want connect is it necessary to connect to our database or not so we write if dollar con is it possible to connect else else we use echo for writing for printing a string or integer or anything else so for printing a value we use echo echo uh, connection error because we couldn't connect to our database else uh, we want to check uh, we want to get our uh, username and password from our application so we have to um, get our username and password so the protocol we use is post protocol and we want to get a request from our application so we write dollar username we should be different from this username so write it to user name equal to dollar underline request and uh, which here we write uh, this string the name of our username that our application send a request to this web service so write it to username And after uh, in part three, we write our application. We change it to username. Okay, and uh, dollar password using Pascal case row request uh, password, and we get our username and password we want to check these username and this password both together exist in our uh, 
login table or not. So write uh we have to write query for a database. So we name it to check query and write it select. We want to select the ID and check is it exists or not. Select ID from login. where uh, username equal to dollar username and password equal to dollar password and uh, check it I wish it works okay it's our query and after that we have to um, get a result of query so write result and by writing my skill i query our connection is dollar connection and uh, query is check query so and after we check this we have to fetch our data from our table so we can fetch the data and check them also we can uh, get a get a rows that are available by this id i mean this id if this id is available in our table it returns one if it's not returns zero so say if my skill i num rows our result result equal to one we echo one it means we got this username and password both together else echo o so here is our php script and it really works for uh, be sure about the query we can copy this and uh, go to school and paste it into it and use default values here we see it works and it returns us number one which is username and password that we entered or is exist so we written our uh, script that is really simple because a uh, purpose of this tutorial is how to connect your application to a web service a unity to a web service this connection may be uh, you are new to this one so i just wanted to help you to connect your application okay thank you for watching this uh, tutorial i wish you best of luck